Big mission end time, fellas. You know what time it is. It's time to talk to Caden. To talk to everyone. To decompress after what happened. Okay. Anything you need, Commander? Well, they know about the stonewalling you've had from the Council. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare up. Mm, I wonder Ever if we thought get about going back under the night? Maybe get an upgrade? No thanks, Commander. One slip and you can't remember your own name. <laughs> the L2s spike higher anyway. My abilities would drop with pain free L3s. And it'd be a cold day before I turn myself over to a Canadian subsidiary. They still they haven't heard anything about Kinetics in the Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up in a... After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop... Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. Breaking your own limbs with biotics? What the fuck? I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. Really? It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn... Kind of spiral from there, Commander. Did he ever face charges for that? He got his, yeah. But like everything else at Jump Zero, it was under the table. Anyway, I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history. We'll talk mm, another Commander. time. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last one? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's heard him, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. What do you think about the Rachni? Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record, if we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. We'll talk another time. Commander. You're wrong. Shut up. <laughs> uh, is there someone over here? Is someone sleeping in the pot? I'm so dumb. That's fucking Chakwas. <laughs> I'm so dumb. That's Chakwas over there. My favorite flavor of chocolate thing. Oh, Jesus. Where is Laura, uh, Liara on the ship? That's what I want to know. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, look at that. There's a mission over there. And Tali. Rex. What do you want, Shepard? Crystal Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Collaborate. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared. One of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. Jared? But he was no old, way a dude so named ideas. Jared got all that power. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who. Listen, Rex. As long as we were fighting. You have a way better name than what this What did dude. you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the genophage, I told them all to forget about war. We, and for a while, we were getting... I take it the warlord... No, didn't he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. Um, we met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, where we all go. Huh. It's as sacred as any Krogan place to me. what a Krogan skull looks like. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, 
There are some laws that even we hold sacred. Damn. Derek was your father? He was. Until that day. Damn, man. What? We talked. But Rex? didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. I didn't want to hit that. Krogan is Shepard. I really want to know what his opinion is on, um, like... Shepard? You must have family other than your father. You're trying to make me cry. I've got You're some... You're trying to make me cry, Shepard. business with my family. Really? What kind of business? I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after... What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by fu... Originally, it was taken by the Turi... Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus, a Turian scum. He's got several bases where he stores his goods, all fortified and guarded. Just tell me where to start. I'll looking. upload the data to your nav system. But come in. Good. Shepard. Yeah, we'll go fuck him up. Uh, we'll save her for last, since I know this will start romancing, hopefully, soon. Commander, good to see you. Uh, personal questions. You've been with Seasack Well, not as much as you, but... Yeah, I've seen I'll bet you have. I remember this Solarian Jeanette. That case was a bit... What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Uh, you've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. But they're not as bad as the psychos. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear-cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. An Elcor was doing that? No way! Don't tell me that! They aren't evil in my mind, don't say that! So how did you figure out what was happening? I don't mean that. First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for... So I went to his lab, hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Solarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Krogan You're testicle. kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. Wait, they got four nuts? The fuck? What did you do about the geneticists? Krogan got four nuts. No wonder they're so ballsy. They're more, ba they're more ballsy than threatened. everyone else. Maybe, maybe not. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. He was growing parts inside. Exactly. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the... Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Oh. But only on the inside. Oh. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran. Blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the near... By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't Well, listen. it's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. 
That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got away just the same. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could call. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done, I, I suppose. suppose. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Sailor? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find some. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. Really now? I got a transponder frequency for his new ship, but oh, I just... Oh, shit. Well, look at this. We're, we're just getting, uh... We're getting a character quest. Where the fuck is Liara? That's what I want to know. Where's Liara? Shepard, I'm glad you're here. You seem happy? Glad you're feeling Good better. Good to see you smiling again. So to speak. No more homesickness, Tali. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. <laughs> I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. Don't worry, you will. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Bring me. Huh? Yes, but it cannot <laughs> just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the army. <laughs> my father is responsible for the lives of Oh, you're royal. Are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty board My Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently. Why didn't you tell me this before? I guess I'm just tired of people judging me because of who my father is. Everyone's waiting. If I don't, it's like I failed, and that reflects badly on both. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla. Our greatest dream is that one day we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop, I will standing, do that for you. That's not what I happen. did to the Rachni Tally, I will scorch Until Earth them. Gone, they will never exist. Continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own. I want to know more. I all I know is the story of their origins. Mm. Like what? I should go. See you later. See you later. <laughs> I love the way she talks. Her, ta her accent is so, so cute. And little did I know, I, I replicate her accent in D&D quite often uh, with one of the major characters. All right, I'm going to find out where Liara is on the wiki. Um, Liara's in the med bay. What the fuck? Okay. She's in that back room behind chocolates. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, sis. Tell me you didn't hear that. You're a sister, I assume? Sister, sister. Until I get home and kill her. Sister. That's sister. Sarah, the youngest. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Tell me about your family. Your family seems to be important, baby girl. Yeah. Listen. We've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Uh, dad, sister. Listen. I'm having second thoughts about some of the aliens on this ship. Liara and Asari. Anyone could be a guest. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah. Took any crap posting he could get that off. You know what? 
He worked his ass off trying to get recognized. He was real proud when I made chief. First thing he did. What about your mother? You yeah, must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be. Able to raise kids while dad's away on a six month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to. She gave up her career to raise you us. You have more than one sister? Damn, okay. Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest. She's still in high school. With four girls, dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. Mm -hmm. Where did you grow up? <laughs> All over. We transferred a half a dozen times before I... I guess that's why I'm so tight with my sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple of years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen hell why away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't hmm. afford a fast packet flight. No me knows, something changed. Sounds like that situation didn't last. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. True! She Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing Mom and Dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. What happened with Did Mike? anything happen while you were home? My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. Ugh. I swear, she just What the fuck is Mike? Him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk and there's blood everywhere. Wow. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. What an I'm interesting story about country. this dude, Mike. Poor when fucking swung, Mike, she bro. Just, she wasn't there anymore. He was like, and damn, he, I've been dating you forever. Fuck! I'm going parents, crazy. And like, he was just school, listening to her coom, his coom arm. brain. He's like, he gonna I'm gonna fuck again. her in the woods in the dark. But and no one's gonna know about it. And he just made the worst choice in his fucking life. And she hugged him. Worst choice in his life. Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he Dad always wanted to serve in Spain. I cannot rest from travel. I... For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen in Bored now. See, I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. It's a good piece, really, sounds dumb. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I'm gonna let you know, I didn't expect Ashley home. to have just like a... Dad passed on a few years back. Super interesting, like, normal so army brat life. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Of course not, not my place to judge, are you fanatic? You know that old saw, there's never an atheist in a foxhole? I've been in a lot of foxholes. Yeah, I guess you have. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power? Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. What's your opinion on the last you mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were yeah. dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. True! Right decision, Skipper. True! To Sony, you probably should. She just lost her mom. Just saying, Skipper. We'll talk later. I really don't Looking want to talk to her. I'll be completely honest with you. <laughs> Do not give a damn. I don't want to talk to her. You, you fucking dumb bitch. I don't want to talk to you. 
bitches. But I guess we will. It's very interesting. Very normal life. Weird poetry. Uh, she doesn't feel like a real person at times, if that makes any sense. Um, <laughs> I'm like, what? What? You just said she had a very real life. I don't know, like, quoting poetry. Like, what is that? It doesn't seem real to me. Chocolate is my favorite chocolate bar. -y. You look at you, nerd. Off in this fucking room. I'm not gonna romance you, okay? Just kidding. I'll press the options. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. Yeah, and I shot her in the face 10,000 times, even when she died. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. It's Saren's fault. She's still with you. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers, but I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau, I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for uh, the solitude, yeah, you well, fucking weird freak. that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes, I just need to get away from other people. Do you like your job? Sounds boring. What's that? You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to matriarchs guide their followers into the future. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. I bet that pissed her off. No. When I told her, she simply said, A daughter must rebel against her mother, Liara. It is part of the natural order. Oh, but there really? was wow. more her to mom it than was that. Like, huh. I felt drawn to the past. Her mother was Google. He <laughs> was a dude in a Reddit thread. Everything about them. Yeah, yeah, of course men want to fight their fathers. It's you just natural. You were by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, I but did not mean to insinuate. Uh, in my I pants, never meant huh? to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, nuts, that's bitch. even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess! How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Uh, I know why people I like to spend her now. I'm in the field with data disks uh, and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around I used to like people. girls like this when I was a Please, teenager. Just I, pretend this conversation never happened. Women like this I should go goodbye to no end. With that simple interaction right there, I understand. I see what's happening now. I know why people want to have smex with a blue lady. I totally understand. And let's save our stuff and then, uh. Whew. Let's try to, uh, take a peek at uh, Rex's family armor. Our missions we got the Pharaohs and the Geth attack, uh, Dr. Sillin, Krogan armor. You find the Tarian who stole Rex's family armor. He's hiding at a base somewhere in the Argos Row Cluster. Well, shit. In a base somewhere in the Good Argos Good timing, Commander. Row we got a transmission oh coming in God. from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. For who? Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the Comrade. Okay. Interesting. What, what did they want? Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Uh, now you're. You didn't seem officer. that interested in helping me before. Why now? The council agreed that Saren was dangerous, Commander. That was why we made you a Spectre. We only balked at unleashing the full force of the Citadel fleet against him. Nobody on the council wants to see you fail, so we contacted you with this latest information. 
We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better... We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. Okay. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Yeah, they got found out and they're probably your dead. Interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. I'll look the council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Vermeer. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. All right. Got another mission. Got everything set, ready to go. And, uh, you know what? Let's save everyone's missions for next time, right? This was a nice, big, hearty mission that we ended up taking on. And let's relax for today, you know? I ended up recording five hours of this. Let's relax, right? Uh, I want to keep playing, but I'm hungry.